most of the time, I use the fells either as an exercise space when I want to go out and do some you know, conditioning for hiking that I do in the summer, for example. I'll, I'll do the Skyline Trail, loop it a couple times. Um, I also come out here just to kind of clean up a lot. Uh, I really, for some twisted reason, I really enjoy picking up trash <laughs> and getting rid of it. Uh, so I'm out here pretty frequently with my Garbo grabber, my tongs, and my little trash bag holder. Um, you know, and it's, there's, there's plenty of validation. People are always really nice. And they say, oh, you're doing a great thing and all that. That's, that's fun too. Uh, and um, there's also a lot of invasive plants and there's, it's difficult to manage all of them. Um, but I try to do my part. I'll come out and cut up Japanese knotweed or pull up black swallow wart or oriental bittersweet. A lot of um, invasive plants that they struggle with here. Uh, so yeah, I kind of, I like to come out and feel like I'm doing my karma thing by, uh, by helping out and cleaning things up a little bit. I couldn't think of anything to do with my 30th birthday. I usually have these like museum trips or some goofy thing that I do for my birthday during the day. So I emailed, I think it was uh, Jillian from the DCR, just said, hey, I, I want to do a service project for my 30th birthday. What is there to do? And she was like, great, there's this, oh, there's all this stuff to clean up on Spot Pond. Uh, and we ended up, uh, myself and maybe a dozen other people, ended up kind of hanging out for a couple hours, uh, working, cleaning up. It was a really nice day. It was sunny. It was warm. You know, it was definitely hard work. <laughs> I think we all got pretty hot and tired. So yeah, it was a you know, good day of work. I could really see that we made a difference. Um, I really felt good about it. Everybody had a whole lot of fun. Uh, and I uh, just couldn't think of a better birthday. I believe, if I remember right, it was maybe a year or two after I had started coming to the Fells just to check it out, um, that I stumbled across, I think, it, I'm pretty sure it was a very early state of the 90 millimeter meadow when they were just first using it to make uh, that pollinator butterfly habitat. And there was just a sign that was like, the Girl Scouts are turning this into a butterfly meadow. If you want to learn more about it, go to the Friends of the Fells website. And I went to the website and saw they had a trail adopter program. And I adopted, uh, I believe actually it was the Virginia Wood at the time, um, and started going in there and picking up trash and cleaning it up and submitting reports and feeling real important. <laughs> and uh, that just kind of led to other stuff, you know, like I came to a couple meetings. Um, people in the DCR were super open and inviting and were, you know, wanted to engage with volunteers and get us involved in helping clean up the park and you know help manage things out here so um, yeah it was a very open welcoming group uh, and um, yeah I got sucked in real fast <laughs>